Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you are watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be going over the cylinder identification and firing order on this 08 Chrysler Town & Country 3.8 liter V6. Okay, so the cylinder identification on this thing is 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6. You have the odd numbered cylinders on the back side of the engine you have the evenly numbered cylinders on the front part of the engine. The firing order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's the order in which spark is delivered to each cylinder. So the spark would hit on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now if you forget this, it's okay. Uh, your vehicle has a little bit of a cheat sheet if you would. Um, this coil pack here, you can see you got numbers on the top of the coil pack and each of those number numbers corresponds to a particular cylinder. Uh, you see this one right here says number six and the wire goes down to the corresponding cylinder and that cylinder will be called number six. Same thing for your other numbers here. This is number four. It would go down to number four and so on you get the picture now you may be wondering why is it good for me to know this information why do i need to know this information well a lot of times people uh, when they do tune-ups or spark plug replacements with wires they can easily cross the wires and knowing the firing order and the cylinder identification is critical uh, to keep that from happening also a lot of times people need to know the cylinder identification and firing order because they're trying to diagnose a particular diagnostic trouble code uh, such as a misfire code or a fuel injector code or any code specific to a particular cylinder. Knowing which cylinder to look at and the components related to it is crucial in properly diagnosing one of those codes. So there it is. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And please read the entire description of this video before attempting to do any repairs on your vehicle using this information or applying this information in, in any way. Thanks again guys.